Do what is good because it is good. If you need to know what is good, know goodness himself. His name is Jesus. Open up your Bible. Take up and read. Come to know him. Participate in that in the discipleship of the church, participate in worship, participate in our small group ministry, participate in doing what is good in this community because we follow a good Lord. Second, hold one another accountable in love. If church discipline is practiced out of spite, strife, hatred, enmity, whatever the word may be, it is not church discipline. We hold each other accountable. We practice church discipline because we love one another and we want us all to be presented whole in Jesus Christ at the end of all things. We warn as a brother, not destroy our enemies. Third, rest in the peace of Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is with us to the very end. You must rest in his peace because if you look for your peace anywhere else or in anyone else, it will let you down. At best, it will be a ceasefire, an absence of hostility. If you want true peace, you must have peace with God, and that only comes through faith in Jesus Christ. Fourth, know, love, and tell the truth. There is no substitute for the truth. The truth matters. And only the truth will set you free. And here is the truth. Jesus Christ came to save sinners like you and like me. Know this truth. Love this truth. Tell this truth. And in the midst of it all, live in Christ's grace. Live in the salvation of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Live in Christ so that you may offer that same grace to others. This is Paul's lesson to the Thessalonians, and this is God's word to you.